Hello children, welcome to Narayana Live Classes. Today our amazing assignment is based on nouns. Let us see how to start those and we will discuss and as well as we will recap the last uh, classes also, the previous classes. Underline the abstract nouns and circle the concrete nouns. Yeah, this is the heading. But do you think that you can do the assignment uh, without going about the nouns? Let us discuss first of all what are nouns, then we will come to the assignment. Children, in fact, in the third class, you have already completed the parts of speech. You have know about it. You know all those eight parts of speech what we have. Let us recap once again. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, interjection and conjunction. Of course, interjection is the last one. First conjunction, then interjection. Okay. So, we are going to discuss today only the first one, noun. Okay. So, let us see what is the heading. Underline the abstract nouns and circle the concrete nouns. Let us discuss what are abstract nouns. First we are going to underline, later we are going to circle. So first we will discuss the abstract nouns, then we are going to discuss what are concrete nouns. Okay. What are abstract nouns? So the nouns which are can be feel but not touch, seen or we do not know the form of that particular thing. For example, mom says do not cross the road, it is danger. Don't cross the road during the traffic, it's danger. Do we know what is danger? Yes, we know, but we cannot see it. We cannot uh, know, uh, you know, like the shape of the danger you cannot describe. But what is danger? We can feel. Similarly, we have uh, sorrow, uh, we have kindness, we have happiness. Yes, all these things we know, we feel, but we cannot, uh, you know, uh, touch it. We cannot uh, uh, describe what kind of form of it, but we can feel it. So similarly, few words in these sentences have, which we are going to underline. Later, we will circle for concrete. Yes. The first question, the art teacher applauded his creativity. What is the meaning of applauded? Praised. So here, the art teacher applauded his creativity. So, one of the boy's work has been praised. So, creativity, the word creativity, you cannot see, you cannot touch, but you can feel, you know what is creativity. So, let us underline that word creativity. Okay. The next one, he spent his childhood in China. Okay. Where did he spend his childhood? The anger age, where he enjoyed in China. So, that stage, the anger stage of the life, childhood, is abstract now. Now the third question, India got freedom in 1947, yeah, on August 15th, 1947, we got freedom. So, freedom is abstract noun here, because we cannot count it, we cannot touch it, but we know what is freedom. What is freedom? Pretty well we know. Now, he was given an award for his courage. Yeah, so the boy got, one of the boys got an award on his courage. So we know what is courage, yes, but we cannot see, we cannot touch, but we know what is courage, the meaning of courage we know, we feel that. So let us underline the word courage. Now coming to the fifth question, the carpet was beautifully decorated. Yes, the carpet was beautifully decorated. So here, what is the carpet here? Can we see it? Yes, we can see, we can count. So don't underline, we will come again here. The next sixth question, Alex had a fear that he would fall down. So what, he, what had Alex fear? So fear can, we feel, we can feel it, but we cannot touch or we cannot see how it looks. So fear is again, abstract noun. So, let us underline and coming to the seventh question, Jack could not, Jack could not control his anger. Some of the reasons, Jack has a lot of anger, what is the reason behind it? So, why is anger? Whatever it may be, but we know what is anger, we cannot touch it, we cannot count one anger, two anger, isn't it? It is a funny, but we know what is anger. So, let us underline anger also is an abstract noun. 
Now coming to the last question, the objects were delicate and elegant. So here also there is no abstract noun because orchids can be count. We know what are orchids. It's a beautiful fruit. Yes. Now uh, let us come again for circling activity. We are going to circle now uh, the concrete nouns. So teacher. Yes. How many teachers do you have? Five teachers according to your subject six, seven and number of. And you can see your teacher. Isn't it? So let us circle teacher. Now coming to uh, the fourth question. Here see we have he was given an award. That means awards can be count. One award, two award, three awards. Yes. So you can circle over here. Then coming to the fifth question. The carpet was beautifully decorated. So how many carpets? One, two, three. Uh, you can say it is a blue carpet. It is red carpet because you can see it. So let us circle the word carpet. Now, Alex. Yes? Yeah, you know Alex. You can see him. You can identify. You can recognize who is Alex. So again, Alex is here concrete. In the next question, we have one more word there, Jack. So, Jack is also the concrete noun. Okay. Here, let's see the last one. The orchards were delicate and elegant. So, orchards, we can count it. We can see it. We can, uh, you know, we know what are orchards. So, such a way, we have to do this uh, uh, assignment by circling and underlining. Children, you know why I have done first uh, underline? Because we should not chaos. We should know what are concrete nouns and what are abstract nouns. Then only you can do it correctly. And this method you should follow in the examination also. Hope you got this uh, assignment properly. But it is not enough, darlings. You have to practice more and more. Thank you very much. Wish you a good day.